What if the runway was speaking to pilots in code, and every white stripe told them exactly where to land? Those markings aren't decoration. They're a language written for speed, precision, and survival. The bold white bars at the runway's edge, called piano keys, mark where the landing zone officially begins. They're not random. The number of bars even reveals the runway's width. From the cockpit, they're the visual handshake between air and ground. Further down, two big white rectangles, the aiming points, tell the pilot where to touch down. At 150 miles per hour, the wheels should meet the runway within a few dozen meters of that exact spot. Too early, and you risk undershoot. Too late and braking distance disappears. It's precision geometry measured in seconds. Beyond that are smaller touchdown zone bars, confirming a safe, efficient landing window. The centerline dashes guide the aircraft's nose straight down the runway, spaced exactly 200 feet apart. Even the runway number was like 27, as magnetic heading shorthand. 270 degrees west. Every mark means something. Every pilot knows the language. Piano keys mark the landing threshold. Aiming points define touchdown precision. Centerline dash is spaced at 200 feet. Numbers show true runway heading. Identical layout worldwide by ICAO and FAA. So next time you look out the window and see those stripes, you're not just looking at paint, you're looking at the world's most universal language written for pilots.